1. Which scheduling algorithm uses priority levels to determine the order of process execution? A. Round Robin B. First come, first served C. Priority scheduling D. Shortest job next Your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. Priority scheduling Explanation Priority scheduling assigns a priority value to each process and schedules them based on their priority levels. The process with the highest priority executes first. If multiple processes have the same priority, other scheduling algorithms, such as round robin or first come, first served, may be used to break the tie. 2. In the context of process scheduling, what is the purpose of the CPU burst time? A. It determines the priority of a process. B. It indicates the time a process spends waiting in the ready queue. C. It represents the time required by a process to execute on the CPU. D. It determines the order of process execution. Your time starts now. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. It represents the time required by a process to execute on the CPU. Explanation CPU burst time is the time duration for which a process requires the CPU to complete its execution. It measures the actual time a process spends executing on the CPU. 3. Which scheduling algorithm ensures fairness by giving each process an equal opportunity to execute? A. Round Robin B. Shortest job next. C. First come, first served. D. Priority scheduling. Your time starts now. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Round Robin Explanation Round Robin scheduling algorithm allocates a fixed time quantum to each process in a cyclic manner. This ensures that all processes get an equal chance to execute. Promoting fairness in process scheduling. 4. Which scheduling algorithm is known for minimizing average waiting time? A. Shortest job next. B. Round robin. C. First come, first served. D. Priority scheduling. Your time starts now. 5. 4. 3 2 1 Answer A. Shortest job next Explanation Shortest job next, SJN, also known as shortest job first, SJF, schedules processes based on their burst time. It selects the process with the shortest burst time, ensuring that shorter jobs are executed first. This algorithm minimizes the average waiting time by prioritizing processes with less execution time. 5. What is the main drawback of the first come, first served, FKFs, scheduling algorithm? A. It may result in starvation for long processes. B. It does not consider the priority of processes. C. It is inefficient for short-term scheduling. D. It may lead to a high context switching overhead. Your time starts now. 5 4 3 2 1
Answer. I. It may result in starvation for long processes. Explanation. DFKF's scheduling algorithm schedules processes based on their arrival time. If a long process arrives first, all subsequent processes need to wait until it completes. This can result in starvation for shorter processes, as they may be delayed significantly. FKFs does not prioritize processes based on their execution time or any other factor. 6. Which scheduling algorithm dynamically adjusts the time quantum based on the behavior of processes? A. Round Robin B. Shortest job next C. Multilevel queue scheduling D. Priority scheduling Your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. Multilevel queue scheduling Explanation Multilevel queue scheduling uses multiple separate queues to categorize processes based on priority or other criteria. Each queue may have a different time quantum, allowing the scheduling algorithm to dynamically adjust the time quantum based on the behavior or priority of the processes in each queue. 7. Which scheduling algorithm aims to minimize the turnaround time of processes? A. Round Robin B. First come, first served C. Shortest job next D. Multilevel queue scheduling Your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. Shortest job next Explanation Shortest job next SJN Scheduling algorithm aims to minimize the turnaround time of processes by selecting the process with the shortest burst time. Turnaround time is the total time taken from the arrival of a process to its completion, including waiting time and execution time. 8. What is the purpose of the ready queue in process scheduling? A. It holds the processes waiting for I.O. operations. B. It stores the processes waiting to be executed on the CPU. C. It manages the priority levels of processes. D. It allocates resources to processes. Your time starts now. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. It stores the processes waiting to be executed on the CPU. Explanation The ready queue is a data structure used in process scheduling to hold the processes that are waiting to be executed on the CPU. These processes are in the ready state indicating that they are waiting for their turn to be executed. 9. Which scheduling algorithm provides the best average response time for interactive systems? A. Priority scheduling B. Round robin C. First come, first served D. Shortest job next Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer, B, Round Robin. Explanation, Round Robin scheduling algorithm provides a good average response time for interactive systems. It allocates a fixed time quantum to each process allowing the system to quickly respond to user inputs and provide a fair execution time for all processes. 10. What is the purpose of context switching in process scheduling? A. 
It allows processes to communicate with each other. B. It saves the current state of a process and loads the saved state of another process. C. It determines the priority of a process. D. It allocates resources to processes. Your time starts now. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. It saves the current state of a process and loads the saved state of another process. Explanation Context switching is the process of saving the current state of a running process and loading the saved state of another process. It allows the operating system to switch between processes, enabling multitasking and efficient utilization of the CPU.